Hello there, everyone. And, uh, here we are with the first homicide case, the Red Lipstick Murder. And this is where it starts to get a little bit harder. Um, not that you need to worry about that, because you're obviously watching a guide for this. So don't sweat it. Alright, so it starts off, a woman is, uh, murdered. As you can see in the little beginning here. He's the BAM! BAM! And, uh, BAM! Yeah, she's, she's killed. And then, uh, of course, they get Colt Phelps. This for his first, uh, homicide case. And, uh, yeah, the guy in the beginning here just kind of talks about how someone's retiring, yada yada yada. Who cares? Lloyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from Burgess. So just wait for this uh, little cutscene to finish, and as always, it'll put you in the police station, where you'll have to drive to the crime scene. As always, you know nothing new really. I think all the missions are pretty much like this. They give you the case, drive there, find clues. Maybe there's someone to question. Maybe not. But uh, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so you can see it says, uh, completing a desk unlocks the streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and attend street crimes. Each desk offers a new set of street crimes. So that means that uh, after you complete one of the case files, uh, be it traffic, homicide, vice, or arson, then you can do Streets of LA, which is basically free roam, where you can do street crimes and um, get collectibles and uh, just basically do anything, kind of just kind of mess around. So I believe I do a little quick change of clothing there. Beautiful. So uh, you just can have your partner drive to the crime scene as always, just for time, so you don't have to worry about crashing into stuff or wasting as much time going from place to place. Which is always nice. I didn't ask for you, I don't want so, and I also got my new external hard drive for my computer so I can save more videos and possibly um, produce them faster now. So you might get the beginning these videos faster now. I know the game has been out for a while, but hey, still could be helping someone. Who knows? And uh, if this video does help you, be sure to leave a like and comment if you feel the need. Liking and commenting is uh, always nice. Let's me know I'm doing a good job or a bad job. You know, this stuff that uh, could be fixed in the future. Yeah. So, they always get these nice little dialogues in place, but I think my cat's me out in the hallway. Stop it! <laughs> Alright, so... Now that we're here at the crime scene. How about a scoop for the Galloway? You could use some good press. More cutscenes, of course. The beginning's always a little boring to watch, but uh yeah, if you just let this play, whatever, you don't have to pay attention to it, skip over it. It doesn't really matter, just get to the parts that you need to get to if you need to. You know, do whatever. You're not really going to miss much. You could probably uh, skip to about 420, maybe, to get to the uh, actual finding stuff. Uh, yeah. Still going, actually. Well, yeah, 420 still. Oh, no, that, don't look at that naked body. It's not there. No, 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 YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so first thing, you walk up and another cutscene, isn't that just lovely? I just love watching stuff just happen as you just sit there. It's like watching a movie, might as well not even play a video game. Nah, I'm just kidding, this game is awesome. The uh, dialogues are very good and it's nice to see the faces, which are very, very good, because it's actual people. 
All right, so coming up here at about the five minute mark, you actually get to move. Yay! All right. So first thing near the body, you want to check out the footprints right there with that little mold thing, I guess that is. Just press A to examine those and you will get the size 8 shoes clue. And uh, I forget I have to press B. <laughs> so then you want to walk up to the body and uh, well talk to the corner first. Yeah. <laughs> talk to the corner then you can check the body. Alright. So first thing, check the right left side of the head, right side of the person's body. I'll just call it the right side because it's the person's right side of the face. So check the right side. And, uh, yeah. and then check the left hand. Their left hand, your right. I'm going to refer them to the person's left and right sides. It's not ours, so if that gets confusing, I apologize, but that's the way it is. So then, after checking the left hand, you want to check the person's torso, and you'll see lipstick writing, hence the name, The Red Lipstick Murder. Lovely. Uh, so, uh, I don't know why I clicked on the torso again, but that's it for that, for the uh, dead body, or the corpse, whatever you want to call it. Have some more cutscene time. Well, yep, just wait for that to end, and then uh, turn around here, and you want to check the person. The person. Wow. Yeah, the purse <laughs> at the little A square there, I believe it was. And you want to check the lipstick. Make sure you press A to further investigate, and then you'll get the lipstick clue. And that's all you need at the A square. You don't need to check that brush or whatever that is on the ground. Maybe it's a mirror. I don't know. Uh -huh. So then head over to square. I believe that's a... Nope. The other one was B. This one's A. My, my mistake. And check this globe thing. And uh, just rotate it until everything's aligned. It's pretty easy. Um, it takes a matter of seconds, really. And uh, open it up, and you will get the new objective, Investigate the Bomba Club, and a uh, new clue, Bomba Club Lawyer. And those are all the clues for the crime scene. And then you can uh, go back to your car. Always got to jump over the stuff, it always looks cooler. Alright, so then you want to have your partner drive to the Bomba Club. Or I suppose you can drive yourself, but it's just easier to have your partner drive, I think. Saves time. If you drive yourself there, you might get um, street crimes and stuff that you can do, which you don't need to do. You can do them after you complete all the cases, which I suggest doing if you want to do those. They're fairly easy. So, once again, you'll get a nice little dialogue between you and your partner. Any minute now. Uh, looks like about another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I don't know, like 30 seconds of them just kind of chatting here. That's always fun. I have to say, most of these videos are probably um, just dialogue and cutscenes. Not a lot of moving around and stuff. But that's okay. I'd probably cut down a lot if I cut out all this gobbledygook here. But um, I don't want to. <laughs> Yep, about 35 seconds of that. Well, 
looks like when you arrive you'll get about uh, another minute or so of talking maybe gentlemen what can I get you Phelps and Galloway LAPD were you working here last night yes how can I help officer you can speak <sighs> your name so You're just walk in and uh, talk to the bartender guy here I'm a temporary <laughs> and he will tell you uh, a little like bit about himself and uh, where you can find the owner and ask him some questions. About 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? He will give you, uh, he will tell you who the lady was, and she was indeed at the Bomba Club, which is a pretty stupid name for a bar, if I do say so myself, but, yeah, whatever. Where's the hibiscus? All right, so then you want to head towards the back, and you'll see a raised little area with a man sitting there. Then you want to go up and uh, talk to him. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine. Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night. Sure, she's a regular. Selene is... <sighs> Once again, we get some nice talking. Okay, so the first thing is uh, suspect seen with victim, I believe that said. Not at first. Selene already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. That one is a uh, truth. You know no. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. And uh, he will give you the license plate number of the person that uh, she left with. And I believe after answering that uh, question correct, you will get an achievement, which is always nice. All right, so the next one is ring stolen from victim. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Selene always wore a and then he tells you about a red garnet ring, but uh, you probably already know that, so I'll just keep my mouth shut for a minute here. Selene herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. It's way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. As I always have. The old man never knew about it. All right, so the next one is knowledge of uh, husband, I think I said. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Alright, so that one's a doubt. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but Got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in a minute. <sighs> a lot of talking. Jeez. All right, so after you're done talking to him, you want to go back out here and uh, use the phone. It takes me a minute to uh, find the phone here. I thought it was the one on the desk, but it was the uh, one on the wall, apparently. I was a little confused for a moment there, but I figured it out. I got the brains. I don't remember what they give you when you call the phone here, but I do know you need to do it to continue. Whenever it shows a little mini-map and it shows the little phone icon, that means you need to call in. 
and get some information. So if you're lost or whatever, just follow that and uh, I'll figure it out. Okie dokie. And that is it for in there. After that, you want to head to the Henry residence. Where are we headed? And so you can just have your partner drive there again, as usual. And once again, you will get a little dialogue. And my partner head, whoa, that's weird. But whatever. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with the health and thirsty things. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility... The majority of this video is just going to be me driving from place to place in cutscenes. So, feel free to just scrub ahead until this part's over. Got about 10-20 more seconds left of this. and tactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Alright, so after that you'll be at the Henry residence. And you just want to go up to the front door and knock on it. And no one will answer, and uh, your partner will go around the back to see if anyone's home. And when he gets back there, he sees that there's a broken window there. So he kicks on the door instead of climbing through the window. <laughs> Alright, so your partner will open the door for you. And uh, Cole asks him why he kicked in the door instead of just going through the window, and he says it's because he's wearing an expensive suit. Alright, so when you come in here, right on the floor, you'll find another newspaper. You can view that to be closer to your achievement, I believe. Alright, so then you want to run into that chair, apparently. I believe the next thing is a shoe on the floor in the dining room. Yep, right there by the window. And you just want to move it until you see the size on the bottom. There we go. Size nine. Above average for a lady. Alright, then you want to check out the broken window in the back. Then you want to check the note on the fridge. It doesn't count as a clue, but you do need that to continue, I believe. And it's just magical adhesive on the bag just sticks to anything. It's crazy. Then I think you want to head to the bedroom, which is in the back here. Then you want to go to the nightstand here, a dresser rather, and check the jewelry box. Then you also need to check the photo next to it to uh, see the ring she's wearing. I don't think this one counts as a clue either, but I believe you do need it, so check it out. And I think that's it. Pretty sure. 
I'm, I'm a little lost here for a second. <laughs> Alright, so I believe after this you want to talk to the neighbor, I think. Yep, the neighbor comes home right next door there. And then you can just chase her down. <laughs> Alright, so then you talk to her, and she will give you another clue. She tells you, I'm not usually oh, looking at the neighbors and stuff, but uh, yeah, he just... I don't remember the clue she gives you. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Yeah, she, yeah, you tell her that uh, she's been murdered and yada yada yada. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. You don't have to really do anything in this talking part. Alright, and then she gives you marital problems, I believe that's it. Alright, so once again, you can have your partner drive you to the Jacob Henry. Jacob Henry's apartment. And so just skedaddle on over there. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. Looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keep the house looking like that, so it's probably deserved. Skipper says bring him in. To keep the hacks off her back. Oh, so you just my have money. to wait for this little cutscene end. Now it's from place to place, I always have to have a 20 minute discussion. It was only about 5 seconds after this, so. Almost done. Okay, so once you arrive, they will pull out their guns, as you can see here, but you won't be shooting anybody, so just walk up to the door and they will kick it in, and then you'll have to search for some clues. Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic oh, oh my God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She, We're gonna have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. She's, yeah, so... I'm sorry. Uh, about ten more seconds of this. <laughs> Alright, so once you're done with that little cutscene, head over to the uh, kitchen and go to this notepad and then just scribble on it like this to see the note that he wrote and ripped out from the page before. So just keep going until you get all of it. Takes me a minute here. <laughs> the oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Alright. After that, it looks like you want to head to the bedroom. Which is right there. And check the open briefcase on the bed and check the shoe size, shoe size on the bottom of the shoe and you'll find out it's a size 11 and I believe the shoe print at the crime scene was an 8 so that says anything alright so then you want to head over and uh, question this man here alright first thing movements of the victim a bar I suppose And that one is going to be a lie. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. And then you want to do a Bomba Club lighter. 
or husband's alibi. Either of those will work, and uh, we'll be at the same place, so just pick either of those. Then we get another 20 seconds of talking. Called me last night. I said no. The phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. All right. So next question. Last contact with victim. When did you last see your wife? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. And Get some more lovely talking for a little bit here. I like. And that one is a truth. Remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. All right. So then you want to do motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. No one is a lie. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? And you want to do the death threat note. Note by the phone suggests you met her home. <coughs> you want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got all right, so those are the questions you have to do there. And um, after this little part, you're going to have to fight him because. Uh, He's a little mad and punches your partner. So now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Damn. You're not being so once again, I have to remember how to fight again. It was pretty easy fighting. These fights are really too much. Uh, keep punching him, and eventually you'll get him. Nothing too special. Call it in and get a squad car dispatch. And check for messages. I keep old sluggers here company. And then you have to go to the phone and uh, call in a car to come pick him up. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. So you just gotta wait for this. Part to end here. So the cause of death was the blunt. No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Alright, so after all that, 
you need to head to your next location. You can just have your partner drive there once again, and you want to go to the central police station. And once again, you'll get a nice long dialogue and cutscene. <laughs> Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phillips? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easy tonight. Run along now, folks. I've warmed them up nicely for you. All right, so once you're here, you want to head into the interrogation room right in front of you and uh, ask him some questions. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. All right, so you want to do access to murder weapon. socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit. So, that one is a lie. <laughs> you followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the morgue. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. Oh, so I'll just <laughs> get through this, I guess. <laughs> all right, so then you want to choose the husband's alibi. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. She called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. All right, then the next question is going to be lipstick markings. And once again, you'll get a nice long talking sequence. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Or one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. We love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just 
got out of hand. It's not how it was. Alright, then this one is going to be another long. Yay. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Alright, then you want to choose marital problems. So this talking part isn't as long as the other ones. I hit her. Alright? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Alright, so the next one is missing jewelry. Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? And that was going to be a truth. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps! You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Alright, so after that, you want to head to, uh, the, whatever that said. Um, I couldn't see it. It went by too quick for me. But just head to the last location that you have, and, uh, yeah, I'll show you what to do when you get there. Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. So when you get here, check the little boxes on the left here to find out that he is in apartment 16. And then once inside, go across to here, and now uh, you'll see he's on the very, very top floor. And you'll have a nice little climb to the top. Alright, so once you get there, you'll see his apartment is the very one on the end here, and you just kick that down. Alright, so once in here, you want to head to the back to his bedroom. And check the shoe on the ground first, and not the box in the corner. Because then you'll see that he has a size 8 shoe. And then you want to check the bloody box. And then you want to check the lipstick. Make sure you can manipulate it. <laughs> well, let's see, and see what, it, what it is. Alright, then after that, check the murder weapon. And then it'll... That'll be the end of uh, the apartment part. Once you walk out here, you'll see uh, a guy who the apartment belongs to step in and be like, Hey, what's going on here? And then you'll have to chase him. What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. We'll get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Don't need to
do this, Alonzo. Get in and drive. idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. All right, so... You just want to keep chasing him and bumping into him until he stops like that. And then just run up to his window and you got him. That's the end of the case. Hope this helped. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it.